Okay, in this video we're going to look at rounding to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000 and we're going to go through some examples of doing that. In the previous video I've introduced this as an idea and as a concept. In this video we're going to look through some examples. So I'm looking at three numbers, 1234, 3574 and 18,888 and I'm going to round each one of these three to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each number in turn and round them to 10, 100, and 1,000 each time so you can see how the pattern forms. Now, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, we look at the tens column, we look one to the right. If the number to the right is less than 5, I round down. If it is 5 or more, I round up. This is telling me to round down, and so we would have 1,230. Okay? In a lot of cases, people make the mistake in rounding down to make this 1,220. And the reason why it's not is because I've split up my number line, as I did in the previous video, into tens. So I've got 1,230 and 1,240. 1,234 is about there. So you can see it should be close to 1,230 rather than 1,240, okay? 1,220 is over here. Okay, so we're looking for the nearest 10. So that's how it should work. So effectively, the, the idea that you're rounding down um, confuses people because you think you immediately need to subtract one away rather than adding one, okay? You could think of it as if it is less than 5, you keep it the same, and if you uh, if it's more if it's five or more, you round up. You could think of it that way. Now, to the nearest to hundred, we move our attention to the hundreds column, and one to the right. This time again, it is less than five, so I round down. So one thousand two hundred, rather than one thousand three hundred. To the nearest thousand, I move my attention one to the left again. To the thousands column, the one to the right is less than five, so I round down to one thousand. Example number two, I look at the tens column first. The one to the right tells me to round down, so that's three, five, seven, zero. I'm now looking at rounding to the nearest hundred, so I move one to the left. Look at the one on the right. Now, 7 is more than 5, okay? So that's 3,600, okay? So I've rounded it up to the nearest 100, 3,600, rather than 3,500. To the nearest 1,000, I look at the 3. Okay, 1 to the right. So this would round up now to 4,000. So the nearest thousand, it's either going to be three thousand or four thousand. So it's four thousand. On the final example, tens column, one to the right, we round up. So we have one eight eight nine zero. Okay, round to the nearest hundred, we look at the hundreds column. One to the right, we round up again. So that's one eight nine hundred. We look one to the left, okay, to the uh, thousands column. The number to the right is an eight, so I round up to 19,000. Okay, so here have been three examples of numbers that I've rounded to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000. And it's always identifying the correct place value and looking one to the right to decide whether you need to round up or round down. 